No, I don't. Hi, everyone, especially my great pal, Ruthie. Um, I'm dressed in baseball attire, if you can tell. Cubs. Cubs. Look, there's Wrigley Field right there. See? 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 Oh, there it is. There, right there. Um, reason I'm doing this is because, um, one, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, <clears throat> I haven't done a video in a while. Um, <laughs> it's nice to actually have people understand you while you're trying to talk. Um, uh, I haven't done a video in a while, as I just mentioned. And I owe Ruthie an artsy fartsy thing uh, for her artsy fartsy thing. Um, as you'll notice, the name of this is more fartsy than artsy, um, as you'll discover as you continue watching. Um, I lost a bet with Ruthie uh, because my team, the Cubs, went down to Tampa to play her team, the Rays, and despite the fact that they have the best record in the National League right now, they got their butts kicked by the Rays, who have the best record in the American League, so it wasn't a, that big of a surprise. So I owed her something, uh, we made a little wager, and I owed her something, so she suggested that I do something about baseball for her artsy fartsy thing. Uh, she suggested that I write a poem, but I'm not very good at writing poetry, I'm more of a music person. Um, so what I found is, um, back when I lived in Chicago, there was a singer-songwriter named Steve Goodman. Uh, he's no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, and he was a big Cub fan, so he wrote a song, uh, of which I'm going to read some of the lyrics of, called A Dying Cub Fan's Last Request. Story being, you know, this guy is in bed, is, you know, taking his last few breaths, and he's a big Cub fan, so all of his friends are around him, and he's describing to them what he once done, uh, with his ashes once he passes away. Um, I know, a real happy subject, isn't it? Um, but it's the most appropriate thing I could come up with. So, um, you know, I'm giving it a shot. And like I said, it's going to be more fartsy than artsy. So uh, just give me a moment. Let me set the mood. And um, I, will, uh, I will start my little uh, uh, tirade here. Okay, it's, it's more of a... understand uh, why I'm playing this song. Okay. <laughs> this is going so well so far. Um, okay, here goes. By the shores of Old Lake Michigan. That's where Chicago comes from. I didn't get to play References. Um, by the shores of Old Lake Michigan, where the hot wind blows so cold, because the wind blows off the lake a lot, da 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 da. Hey, where'd my music go? Hey, hey, come back there, you. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm so technically advanced at this, aren't I? Um, an old Cub fan lay dying in his midnight hour that toiled. Uh, I, it's supposed to rhyme, sort of, but it doesn't. Um, around his bed, his friends had all gathered. They knew his time was short. And on his head, they put this bright blue cap. Not too unsimilar from this. From his all-time favorite sport. Cutting out. The music. See, this would never happen to Ruthie. So she, you know, she'd have flawless video and... I, I, I get this. Um, he told them, it's late and it's getting dark in here and I know it's time to go. But boys, 
there's just one thing I'd like to know. And this would be the chorus of the song, um, if I were actually singing it, which I'm not. But the chorus goes something like this. In fact, it goes exactly like this. Play the blues in Chicago, thing. when baseball season rolls around, when the snow melts away, do the Cubbies still play oh, aerial yeah. ground? Ha 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 ha. When I was a boy, they were my pride, but now they only bring fatigue. Not unlike watching this. To the home of the brave, and the land of the free, and the doormat of the National League. Um, not this year, um, but... This is their year, because they're due. It's been a hundred years since they won the World Series, so... Um, and then the song goes on and on and on and on, with a lot of Chicago references that nobody would ever get. I'm sure I'm sure you with them. Um, and I'll just kind of right to the end. Um, build a big fire on Louisville Slugger's baseball bats and toss my coffin in. Let my ashes blow in a beautiful snow from the prevailing 30 mile an hour southwest wind. It does, the wind does blow there quite a lot because there's like... When my last remains go flying over the left field wall, the bleacher bums adieu. The bleacher bums are people sit in the bleachers. And I will come to my final resting place out on Waveland Avenue. It's right outside the park where when it's a run, when you hit a home run, that's where the ball goes. Um, on the left field side. Um, and then blah 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 blah. Okay, blah. one more verse. The dying man's friends told him to cut it out. They said, stop it, that's an He awful. whispered, don't cry, and there goes my music again. Don't cry, we'll meet by and by near the Heavenly Hall of Fame. He said, I've got season tickets to watch the Angels now. So it's just what I'm going to do. He said, but you the living, you're stuck here with the Cubs. So it's me that feels sorry for you. But not this year. And then, uh, again, play the Blues in Chicago. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, when baseball season rolls round. When the snow melts away, the Cubs still play in our ivy-covered burial ground. When I was a boy, they were my pride and joy, but now they only bring fatigue. To the home of the brave, the land of the free, and the doormat of the National League. Go Cubs! Bye.